Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you all how to get every race V3 in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe. It's free to do so and it really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you will need to do is to be in the second C and to have the race V2 of your current race that you want to upgrade. If you haven't gotten race V2, then at the top right hand of your screen, there will be a video pop up, which you can watch on how to get race V2. Let's go to the second C. After that, make sure you have unlocked the door to the Don Swan boss. The Don Swan boss is up at this big mansion or castle or whatever you want to call it, up in the center of the kingdom of whatever. Yes, it's a mansion as you see there. So you can come to talk to this guy, Trevor, and give him a fruit worth a million belly or more. That way, he will open the door down here for you so you can walk through it and kill the Don Swan boss. So once you've unlocked the door, you have to at least kill him once and then you can go on to the next part of the quest. If you don't want to give a really good fruit to Trevor, I recommend going and seeing one of your bigger fruits, for example, a portal or a gravity, and trading it for two or three smaller fruits, something like a quake, or and a love and a spider. Those are worthless, so you'll be losing less when you give the fruit to Trevor. Don Swan is a pretty easy boss, but he has two modes, which allows him to regenerate his health when entering the second form and get more powerful abilities. Once you've killed him, you'll need to go find the secret NPC called Arrow. He is hidden in a wall that you can walk through under the tree near the diamond boss, as you can see right over there. If you want to go find Arrow, all you have to do is go towards where the diamond boss spawns, head down to this little ledge, and keep walking around the edge of it until you get to the back. From here, you're going to want to walk into the wall like this and keep doing that until you find right here. As you can see, you can walk straight through. And down here is the arrow NPC. Once you talk to him, he'll give you a quest based on what type of race you have. This quest doesn't show up at the left of your screen like a normal quest, and instead you have to do exactly what he tells you to do. If you leave the server while you have his quest, the next time you join, you have to go come back to him and get the quest again, because you have to do it in one server. Now, these are all of the different quests. For the human race, you will need to kill three bosses. And these aren't just any three bosses, they are the first ones in the second C. These being the diamond boss over here at the giant tree, who spawns right about here, the Jeremy boss, which spawns at the other side of the Kingdom of Rose, on the mountains over there, and the Fajita boss, which spawns all the way at the back of Green Zone over there. The Human V3 ability lets you do more damage as you are lower health when it's activated. The Mink quest is simple. All you need to do is collect 30 different chests. There are a couple different YouTube videos you can look at to see where all the chest spawns are and how to get the 30 chests really easily, but I don't think it's that hard and you can just go around finding all the chests. For example, up here there is one chest and there should be one chest right down the side. Then there's one in this wall here, one in the Colosseum, and then tons in here and any other places with lots of buildings. The Mink V3 ability lets you dash further dash more often, and move four times faster than your normal speed while activated. The next quest is the shark quest. So for that quest, you will need to kill a sea beast, but it has to be naturally spawned. This means it cannot be spawned by someone who has over 10 million bounty like me with the summoned sea beast down here, and it also cannot be spawned by the tidekeeper boss over at the Skull Island, all the way behind green zone over there. So what you'll have to do is go to a dock, let's for example go to dock 3, go get a boat, doesn't matter which one. With your boat you'll need to go 
to an open space with enough room to spawn a sea beast. Then you just hang around there and go in circles and stuff until a sea beast spawns and then kill it. It's a pretty simple quest. The Shark V3 ability lets you take 65% less damage from any player or NPC who is damaging you while activated. As I currently have Shark, I'll show you the ability. This is what it looks like. It's blue because I got the Shark Race. The next quest is the Angel Quest. Now this quest can be a little tricky because you need to kill another player who has the Angel Race as well. If you are not good at PvP, then I recommend asking the whole server if you can kill anyone that has the Angel Race. And if no one says yes, all you have to do is go to the top right, click on servers, find a different random server, and then get the quest and ask the same question. Then just kill them. Now you don't need to gain bounty from them, you just need to kill them. The Angel V3 ability lets you take 15% less damage from enemies, as well as healing you for 20% of your max health and 10% of your max energy while activated. The next quest is the Ghoul Quest. This quest is also a little difficult, unless you have someone to help you. You will need to kill 5 players in one server. They can be any level and any race, unlike the previous quest I have mentioned, but you will have to do it all in the same server. If you aren't very good at PvP and have someone helping you, you can actually just kill them 5 times in order to get this quest over and done with. Now the Ghoul V3 ability lets you do 5% more damage, move 10% faster, take 15% less damage from enemies, and use your skills while they still have 40% of their cooldown left. Now honestly I think that ability is pretty good, but the rest of the Ghoul race isn't that great. Now the final quest is the Cyborg quest. This is by far the easiest quest to do, as you only need to give Arrow a physical fruit. The great thing about this quest is that he will take any physical fruit you give him, and he even lets you keep it too. Just go into your inventory, your items, find a random fruit, whichever one you want, unstore it, talk to him with it, and then put it away. You can store it again, and voila, that's how easy the cyborg quest is. The cyborg v3 ability lets you take 30% less damage from enemies, and also creates an AoE lightning around you that constantly damages enemies and also breaks their observation while activated. So Cyborg is really good for PvP and can also help you in a sticky situation when you're getting hit in a combo. Once you've completed the quest for your race, all you need to do is go back to Arrow. Then you have to talk to him and pay him 2 million belly. After that, you will have the V3 of your race. It will give you one of the abilities, as shown down here, I have the water body, which you can activate by either selecting it and clicking, or by pressing the T key on your keyboard. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.